Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today is the long awaited day. We are doing my 250 subscriber, huge little free library haul and unhaul. It's gonna be crazy because there are so many books. I think I counted 29, might be 30, not sure. Just a few books, you know, it's just gonna be a little thing. And I really need to get going. But first, Starbucks. I need to eat a little bit of this sandwich and drink my lovely tea, but I am on the way to go do this fun, hopefully, fingers crossed, adventure. And I don't know how long it's gonna take me. I don't know if this is gonna be a couple hours or if it's gonna be like an all day thing. Not sure, we shall find out. It'll be interesting. It's completely new and I don't always do things that are new. So we'll see how this goes. Let's hop back to my book cart so I can tell you all the books that I'm unhauling so that when I'm in the middle of Little Free Libraries, I'm not missing sharing anything with you. Let's do it. I have, for better or worse, DNF to this. Nightingale Before Christmas, also DNF to this. Two copies of Untie the Fear Knots. Mom was getting rid of these. Feisty and Feminine, very much glad I read this, but I probably won't reread it. Read this, didn't love it, off it goes. Jane Austen collection that I just don't like the format. So it's gonna go. Started and DNF'd this. Never started it, probably won't pick it up. I read this with the No Fear Shakespeare online modern translation, so don't really need this. Too political and governmenty for a devotional, so off it goes. Read this, probably won't reread it, off it goes. DNF'd this. Read it, didn't love it. It's pure vibes. So if that's what you're looking for, for Christmassy vibes, pick this up, but plot very light. I had this in high school and I just, it's the format is just not it for me. I'd rather listen to the messages than, and write my own notes than do the fill in the blanks. So cringe, don't love it, DNF'd. Mom was getting rid of this read it but don't really like it so off it goes dnf 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 read it but just not really it for me so it's going with read a long time ago but don't plan to reread so i did and that's why i bought that from the library book sale but i'm probably not going to reread it after all enjoyed this glad to have read it passing it on for someone else to enjoy did not love this also this is the most unlucky copy of a book ever to exist. Not only did it get stuck under my driver's seat in my car and get all torn and crinkled up, the binding melted in said car after being left in the car for one school day, which is like 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. and it melted. <laughs> this was a college book that I'm getting rid of. Totally forgot it existed, so. Probably will not reread, so I'm getting rid of this. Read it, didn't love it, very heavy. Don't recommend, but it's a popular book, so someone will probably be thrilled to find that. And finally, read it, but didn't love it. Loved the one sister storyline, didn't love the others, so I'm going to get rid of it, but yeah, that's everything. Okay, it's official. We're at the first destination. I am simply going to grab this book and we're gonna go see what they have. We had just the nicest couple which is a thriller and I've heard people like it and I am looking forward to trying this because this is the kind of thriller that I really enjoy at least from what I've heard so first book okay sorry for the weird angle I don't know what the deal is but we are at the second destination I am just gonna grab a book that I can reach so I'm gonna put the weight in if I find something that I want to switch it out for so let's do this We have 
appreciate this adorableness. I loved this Veggie Tales video when I was a kid. And this is the little golden book version. You guys know I love to get a little golden book from little free libraries because they're just precious. And oh my gosh, so happy. Okay, so the last location that I was gonna go to was a school and it looked like they were still in session. So I just felt weird about that. Um, so now I'm actually in a church parking lot and I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in here. Choosing real sounds like a good one. Let's do this one. So I picked up this book called Managing God's Money and I'm just really curious if this is going to be a good finance book or if it's just going to be another one that I don't love. You guys know I've had very little luck with financial books but I'm hoping that this one could be a different story. So. So hot. But I secured the coffee. Spoiler alert on where I am. Anyway, on to the little free libraries. I've literally been here for like two and a half hours and I have only gotten to three, but now it is solely or specifically, I know I had a hair clip in my hair. Where did it go? Now it is specifically time for the little free libraries. Let's do this. Next destination. So I picked up two books I'm not sure of, which kind of goes against my um, goal here. I want to pick up books that I know I want to read. However, this was giving, oh gosh, what is that book? The Things We Cannot Say, it kind of was giving those vibes. So I sort of want to try this. We'll see. And then The Wife Between Us is a thriller and I have heard of it. I just, I don't know if it's on my Goodreads TBR but I picked it up just to try it. So I'm gonna put these in the box for right now and I may end up switching them out if there's something that I find that I want more. So cute. Okay, so update, I actually ended up switching out the drawing near devotional study guide book for this adorable little um, The Answers book for kids. And let's just say I have plans for this. I think this just might help. Um, it's for ages six to 12, but I, ha I have some plans for this. All right, so I'm gonna bring Dear John again. Let's go see what they have.
is so cool. So I was really torn on that one. There were a lot of books that a lot of people love that I'm not sure I'm gonna love, but I did pick up these two. First of all, The Hotel Nantucket by Elin Hildebrand, I believe is how you say her name. And I don't really have a ton of interest in reading this author's work, but this book wanted me to get it. I can't explain. If you know, you know. Um, so I picked it up may put it back in a different little free library but yeah and then <laughs> i said i wasn't gonna pick up christmas books from the little free libraries but this book something in it was calling to me so i picked this up for bookmas because i have missed a few months of bookmas like blind date with bookmas i think i'm gonna need a few extra books so this will help with that okay this next one i am bringing Disciples are made, not born. Let's go. Really need to stop getting like books for my teacher box, but how adorable. Like, that's so cute. Okay, I'm picking out a random book, whatever's on the edge here. Oh, this lovely, massive thing. This is what I will bring to this little free library. A lot of these are like teacher books slash classroom books. I need to go through this box once the box of books that I have brought gets lighter, but it's still really full. <sighs> I want to find some books that are on my Goodreads and my want to read list. I'm gonna bring these two to this next one and see what we find. Yay, I found this book that's barely new. It's from December 2022 and it's a book of the month copy, which is awesome because you guys know I don't have book of the month, but I do like to collect book of the month copies. So haven't read one yet, but this will be going in my collection. Let's continue on. Also, I just sort of want to sit here for a minute because it's nice and shady here. And the rest of this entire city is like hotter than I don't even know what. And I probably shouldn't say what. <laughs> it's just hot. I've got my Starbucks iced peach green tea lemonade 
in my door cup holder. I've got my mocha, iced white mocha in my cup holder and I've got whatever this is from Chipotle in my other cup holder. I also somewhere have a water bottle that has disappeared now. I also, here it is, in case you're wondering, water bottle. I also drank the rest of a lemon iced tea. So I'm just basically, you know, trying to hydrate because I essentially feel like I've run a marathon today and I'm nowhere near half done. Let's keep going, even though I want to sit here forever. I'll try this this time and I hope to find something in here. I'm not sure. We'll see. this book. Not sure about this one, but I picked it up. For this one, I am bringing these two books. It's just like getting late and I need to start finishing up. I need to look for some little free libraries that are like all in the same area because I'm spending a lot of time driving back and forth places. <laughs> Because I don't know the area and I don't know the quickest way to get places, but anyway, these books. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Um, I, I didn't feel comfortable talking about the books that I got because the lady whose house I was parked outside of was outside. Anyway, I picked up, I don't love this cover, but I want to try this book. And so I picked that up. But I also got a copy of one of my favorite books, which is Behind Closed Doors. And it's a terribly beat up copy. It's fine, but anyway, gotta go. But I'm so happy to have that. Here I have these two books that I DNF'd, so we'll see what we may or may not find in this little free library. Okay, whenever I see a little free library like that, I feel bad because it's like there's nothing in there, so I just donated those two books because I gotta get a move on anyway. I have plenty of books at home. I don't need to have the exact number of books that I left with. Um, and I always kind of try to even it out because sometimes I will take more than what I put in a little free library and sometimes I just leave books like that. So goodbye to those books that I did Okay, this one I am bringing Synapse and hurt people hurt people. So I picked up this one book because it's a big dating trope, however the cover gives me suspicion that it might be open door and I don't want that, but we will see. I'll try it, but it may not be what I want to read. I'm very intrigued by this, going through a situation that is extremely heartbroken and I, heartbroken, heartbreaking, I think this is going to be amazing. 
maybe, I hope. It looks really cool. It's very colorful and just has like all these different things that you can work through. I am excited. I hope it's not just like for relationships. We'll see. Wasn't going well at first, but we're making really good progress. This is all I have left. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. <laughs> all right, for this one, I am just going to bring, oh wait, no, I'm, I'm feeling this vibe. I'm gonna put in, or I'm gonna bring this with me and see what I can work with. <laughs> I'm just really trying to build up my classroom library because I got this cute little beginning reader frozen book and it just looks so cute very big print and colorful pictures definitely like kindergarten first grade level but I think that that will be so fun all right this one I'm gonna bring one of these books and then we'll see what else there is So you might have seen, I actually ended up switching out the Pride, not Pride and Prejudice, the Jane Austen collection copy for three or four books. I picked up three, so technically that's one less book, but that's okay. Um, I had heard about this, French Kids Eat Everything, just sounded interesting. Um, this is... A love inspired book which I have enjoyed some love inspired books in the past so I'm willing to give it a chance and then this one I'm not 100% sold on because I've heard some people don't love it but I just love the cover so it's almost like if it's free I might as well at least try it so that's that now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books left. Oh my word. I've got about an hour before I am going to start heading back because I am getting tired. And I also need to get gas. And I'm also, gonna, I just don't want to be driving in the dark or anything. Not that it's going to get dark anytime soon, but anyway. Let's get this. Okay, this next one I have to kind of walk to. So I'm bringing three books just in case. Let's go. Well, this would be awesome if I didn't already have that. This one when I used to nanny, it's so cute.
Okay, it's really weird. Like, I just keep getting all these kids' books, but some of them are so cute. This one's The Best Teacher in the World. Never read it, but want to read it. This one is all about the water cycle, which I think I'm going to use this for one of my teaching science class assignments because that is perfect. And then this one's so adorable. I love it. So sweet. Now I have one, two, three, four, five books left. I would, oh, I also picked up this book by Ruth Ware. I'm not sure if this is on my Goodreads, but I picked it up just in case it is. And I can also like switch it out if it's not one that I'm actually interested in. I need to look up the synopsis just to be sure, but it's a pretty cool cover. So I figured I would get it. Time to move along. awkward vibes as the people are standing outside this little free library and I just feel weird. Bring these two books. Okay, yes, yet some more potential classroom books, but this is cool and I feel like that could be very useful as like a resource or a reference book for kids. And then I also picked up this book. Just out of curiosity, I now have three more books. Okay, here I am putting in the Nightingale before Christmas. Yeah, let's do this. Love these. Have these two books left. Okay, so although I didn't find anything there, with that, my bin, whole big bin that had 30 books, I have now dispersed them all. I've got a huge box of books sitting on the floor here. A lot of them kids' books for my classroom. A lot of them books that I may end up switching out at little free libraries that I usually go to. And some of them books that I would like to read. <laughs> we'll see. I feel like this was fun. I did get to adventure. I got to explore new areas, but now I need to go get gas in my car because it's almost on empty and that's problematic because I don't know where the gas stations are. So we're going to go find that. Let me know in the comments if you want me to go through and do another video talking about the books that I picked up, like going through synopses and talking about why I picked them up, what I'm going to use them for. Or if you are just satisfied with what you saw here, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you all next time. Thank you for being here. Bye.